You might not know this game that's playing behind us, but this is a, actually a great co-op game, even if it doesn't look like one. But if you play it, you'll know it's a great one. And we got a list full of best couch co-op games that were free from Epic. All of these have been free. If you've been following our channel for a while, you should have all of these games in the list in your backlog, ready to play with your friends immediately. If you realize that you don't have them, well, that's why you should be subscribed to our channel because we notify you and review every single weekly game from the Epic Game Store. If you missed it, unfortunately, you can check them out on the Epic Game Store for sale. There are links down in the description that are actually affiliate links that help us out as well. Let's get into the list of the best couch co-op So co this games. game is actually called Nuclear Throne. I love it. This this is my number one hidden gem on the Epic yeah. Game Store that I never expected it to It doesn't love. look like a good game. I, it's a great game. It doesn't look like anything I would ever play, but I could not stop playing it, and co-op is even better. Mm -hmm. it's, so, it's so crazy and fun, strategic but chaotic at the yeah. same time. Proceedly generated and yep. super difficult. So every like round difficult. is different. Yeah. It, each level gets it progressively harder. In the beginning, you think you can't get past the first level, then you can't get past the next one, then you can't get... But it just challenges you to keep getting better and better and you need some luck yeah by the way all the links to these games will be in the description how about overcooked one and overcooked two yeah. are even on pretty good sale right now and i think these ones are the best co-op game on the list yeah agreed you can Again, I've I've yeah, played both played of these co-op with my wife. We finished both of them. Lots of fun. Make sure you play with someone that you have a, a very good close relationship with because yeah. this could end friendships if, <laughs> if you're not way, careful. By the way, the nuclear is for up to two people. This one up to four people. Mm -hmm. Just a squad. That's a recent one. Mm -hmm. Also up to four people. Great animations, not too long ago of a game, but we really enjoyed it. We have a review, so you can check it we out. We surprisingly enjoyed it. There's yeah. there's a lot of elements to it. It's chaotic, but there's yeah. lots of special moves mm -hmm. and things and it's, great. It's one of these side scrollers. Yeah, great climactic moments yeah. of clearing out the whole screen and things. Yeah, so it's really cool. This one is special because okay. it's not originally meant as co-op. Yeah. It's a single player game, but since on the gamepad you are or the using keyboard. Or keyboard, you're actually playing both uh, brothers at the same time. You can do so with two players. It works. It e works. I super would say well. it works even better. As it's how we played it. Yeah, and it is story driven. A really good story by the creator of yeah. A Way Out and It Takes Two. So it's it's really a really great world and a very. But just this one you can play yeah. alone too. If you have it sure. in your back catalog, we definitely recommend all, it. All of these. You if can you play don't alone. have, it's eighty percent off. Right. And there's actually a remaster of this one. That's it's how com successful. Coming. Yeah. It's coming out after after like fifteen years. Yeah. They're remastering it. Caleb, we also got mm. six Batman's ones and three six of Batman them in one in, week at the same day. time. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Lego Batman, the video game, <clears throat> DC superheroes and Beyond Gotham. All these three games are s great co-op uh, games for, I think only for two players, mm -hmm. you can play it single as well, mm -hmm. but all LEGO are basically best co-op games. Yeah, those are really great. And based on stories that everyone loves, like, like Batman. This one is surprisingly addictive. It is. It doesn't yeah. look like it. It's kind of a, like a retro style. But a really nice visual. Neither of us play a lot of racing games. Mm. We're not big fans of racing games, but we both really got into this because it's it's a casual racing game, yeah. but the controls are okay. really good, yeah. not very frustrating, and a very pretty yeah. like art Wait, style. no, I think, yeah, up to four people. Sorry, not nice. two, one, nice. two, and four people. So get four see. friends on a couch, and it's very nostalgic yeah. as well. But even yeah. if you don't have like memories of mm. playing these old racing games, it's just really, really fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Never uh, alone. So even as the title suggests, you can play this single player, mm -hmm. but it's better to play with the, the fox because mm -hmm. the second player plays the fox. The mm -hmm. first one plays the uh, Inuit girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This um, is really a, also a lot like a a Brother: A Tale of Two Sons. Yeah. It's emotional. It's based on um, Inuit mythology, yeah. actually. So that's very interesting yeah. and unusual as well. Or Unreal, oh, that's, that's another game different. that you would never expect. It's so fun. It, it, it's kind of frustrating as well because it's super difficult, but you're basically making a 
trail for a train that goes really slow and it's kind of hectic that you need to build this rail but there's like Indians who sabotage you and <laughs> it's so fun if so you, fun a lot of people have Up played four overcooked people, I think. Yeah. if you've played overcooked and you're looking for something with a similar vibe it's this it's crazy you start screaming at each other everything gets chaotic <laughs> the the, the everything so the fire. rails go on fire like yeah. really quickly yeah. but once you get into a rhythm it's yeah. really satisfying to work as a team Thames fighting hurts we got quite recently last, last year i think last year ago okay okay here we go okay uh it's a uh, like mortal combat but less violent because this is like animated pony characters mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. good couch co-op game for two players i think it's the only fighting game like the like pvp mm -hmm. fighting game that we have in the list Yes, in the list, definitely. They have given away others, but mm. this is our choice of the, yeah. the most fun from those that have been free from Epic. And Sonic oh, Mania. Sonic is, of course, the Sonic and the Tails. You can play this one co-op. Uh, if you missed it, it's 75% off, so pretty good to you. Yep. And of course, who doesn't yeah. like playing Sonic with friends? Yeah. Classic. And the last one is Fourth Triumph. Which is uh, surprisingly, it's not real time, it's turn based mm -hmm. strategy, but you can play it with other players. Cool. This, this is really like a um, Dungeons and Dragons simulator kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. not, not with all the deep menus. A little bit like Heroes of Mighty Magic 2, because yeah. you change between battles and uh, Real big map. It's you go you go on a magical yeah. RPG adventure. This with one friends. is definitely s slower on call mm -hmm. than the previous games, but mm -hmm. it's kind of a hidden gem. I think. Yeah, absolutely. And Caleb, we almost forget the game that we even played live. Yes, we enjoyed it so much. Yes, it doesn't look like much, but for the king, it's definitely a hidden gem for up to three players. Speaking of cop of fantasy Great. adventure like simulator yeah. thing, this is a. Actually, a lot. I know the art style is good, but it's a lot more fun than it looks. The stories are procedurally generated, the worlds yeah. are procedurally generated, and so every time it's unique. And if you get yeah. into it with some friends, you can have some really great adventures mm -hmm. and some very tense moments as well. This is a turn base as well, so a little bit slower, but really fun. Yeah, Hi well, more like recommend. a board game, even. Yeah, but like a huge, a huge, yeah. like open world board game yeah. that you play with friends and you need potions and, and, and you weapons. You can see you have a party of three players and mm -hmm. you really play it like together cop. If you have two friends that you would play like Dungeons and Dragons yeah. or some role-playing games with then definitely give that a try. But you can play it in two players just fine. Or one. Yeah. Or one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it's things as the point of this list Caleb, is games are more yeah, fun Caleb, with friends. I'm glad we didn't miss this one. Yeah. And all of those, uh, I want to go are, and play right now. These are all great. If <laughs> Let you, us know if you played any of those, which are, is your favorite. And this is something that you should think of because you might know, you might have this game already in your back catalog. So yeah. you can play them, even some of them solo. So hope that list was useful. Let us know what other types of lists you would like in this channel. And remember to subscribe for reviews of every single free game on the Epic Game Store. And we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.